In this tutorial, we're going to review how to edit the auto captions in a video that you've uploaded to YouTube. Uh, so first, uh, you need to have uploaded a video in YouTube, and to do that, you'll locate the camera icon with the plus sign in it. Select Upload Video, and if you already have your video created, you're just going to click on the arrow, and I'm going to locate one of my videos and by default it's going to be a public video so you can always change that as it's uploading uh, to unlisted which would just mean that students or anyone viewing the video would only be able to see it if you shared the link or embed code with them. We're going to let this upload and come back. When it's done processing it'll tell you and you can select done you can click on the title to go to the video and I see that it is uploaded and if I want to go to the captions I'll go to edit video and on the left panel here uh, we'll see different options now this is uh, in the YouTube studio beta so they have been changing the interface at YouTube and it may change again uh, in the near future but if you look for this symbol uh, that says transcriptions click on that and that's going to show you the uh, the captions that are available uh, typically YouTube will create auto captions for any video you've uploaded now if you just uploaded it it may not show up but what we see here is that it's set for whatever your account's default language is will show up here. Under subtitles, I'm going to click add. And I'm seeing here that there are not any auto captions yet. So what this tells me is I need to come back and wait. And it typically takes maybe a couple hours. It could take up to 24 hours before um, the auto caption file will show up here. Um, and so we'll want to come back and edit those um, when that time comes. Okay, so I've returned back after a 24 hour period and I'm clicking back into this video and I'm going back to my transcriptions and I see now it says subtitles published. So this tells me that there is an auto caption file that YouTube has generated. It just took a while for it to show up. So if I click on it, now I can see it's a captioning artificial intelligence that creates these captions that it thinks that I'm saying. Now over the years, YouTube has improved immensely from where they started and they have really made their captions, uh, I would say almost 98%, 99% accurate now. Certain accents may be tricky. There may be issues with punctuation and capitalization, certain proper nouns like special names that may not know what we're trying to say when we say those things. So those are the types of things we want to look for. But particularly I find myself adding a lot of punctuation when I'm editing captions and, and correcting YouTube's auto captions. So we can play the video to see the captions as it's playing. And it's uh... and I can see the captions there and it will also show on the side here. Now, if I'm ready to start correcting these, I don't have to play through the whole thing. I can just go to edit. And now I have this panel on the left here where it'll show a time frame from zero to seven seconds. I'm saying what it thinks I'm saying is these words here. So I'm going to play and correct it so it says what I want it to say. And it's, uh, let's see. Uh, so I'm going to go in and change it. So you can just go through and uh, hit play, pause, edit, hit play, pause, edit. You can save your changes as you go. I typically like to just do it in one sitting. If it's a very long video, you may want to save it and then come back and re-edit it. But this is a short video for me. It was a two minute one. It would probably just take me a few minutes to uh, go in and correct those captions. And then when I think I'm done, uh, I'll just hit the save changes button. 
And now it's going to give me two different captions. So what we see at the top here is English automatic. Those are the auto generated captions that YouTube has made. So that's the rough draft. It's the one that we have not fixed. So the one that we did fix, which is the finished product, is the one that just says the language English. So we want to go back and delete this auto caption one so it does not show up anymore. And we only want this one to be available. So to do that, we can click on the auto captions. You can select unpublish. And then you have the delete draft button here. So click on that and make sure that it's the auto caption one you're deleting and not the one you've worked on. So you should be able to see if it's not capitalized, if there's no punctuation, that that's the right one to delete. And it didn't delete it yet. Okay, now it did. So now I just have one in here that says English. One other quick thing, if anyone ever asks you for the actual file of the captions, if you click into it, you can download it on this actions menu. If you click down here, you can rename the name of the file. You can delete it from here as well, which uh, you don't want to do if it's your only one. And then you can download it in these different formats. The ones that I've seen the most of are SRT and SBV. SRT is the one that is compatible with other types of captioning tools that we use at the College of Valencia. So if you're using Kaltura, you may want to save this as an SRT if you need to back up this captioning file for a different video platform. But otherwise, you don't usually need to download those files. You can just keep them in YouTube. And that is the process for editing and revising the auto captions in YouTube. If you have any questions, Questions about this process, please feel free to reach out to one of the Centers for Teaching and Learning Innovation at Valencia College on your campus.